alrighty guys and here's the last beautiful colony uh, this is the honeypot Mexicanus um, I did give them a small roach as well um, and this roach did pull out its guts um, as you can see it there on a piece of wax paper um, but yeah they pulled the roach off and said forget leaving it there I imagine they're trying to get it down the hole but the roach is a little too too wide for that they haven't yet bothered to move into the former carrium they use the outworld you know for what its intended purpose is but they haven't bothered to move in um, I do have everything set up here uh, for the colony to move um, here's the queen and their one major retreat um, I apologize I'm a little shaky here um, and as you can see there's a good little brood pile some pupae as well and they're you know they're holding strong they're doing good um, but yeah these these ones actually ended up coming out and holding their own a heck of a lot better than the Navajos did so hopefully these ones will grow beautifully um, I'll keep try to keep posting like I said as much as possible um, but with the work schedule and medical issues going on over here I'll get on as much as I possibly can but like I said all my colonies are doing amazing um, this one has grown in numbers I believe when I first got them it was the queen one replete and four workers and now they're up to about six to eight workers and it looks like four more on the way so they are growing and they're they are holding strong so but yep here's this colony and as always aside from the lassius colony that I have here that was named the Orange Empire. Um, we're still waiting on names for all the colonies and the queens aside from the Campanatus and my daughter chose to name her Rose. Um, so we are still waiting for suggestions for names for the colonies and names for the queens. Um, so any, any suggestions drop them in the comments. Uh, with each colony including this one and we would love to hear what you guys got much love thanks